Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back friends. Welcome to another video lecture from Kami Biology. In this video tutorial we are going to talk about the next antibiotic and this antibiotic is beta lactam antibiotic. Right? In the previous video if you remember we talked the basic overview of the antibiotic drug. Right? So this is the second video of the antibiotic drug and in this video lecture we are going to talk about the beta lactam antibiotic drug. The mechanism of action resistance side effect of these drugs uh, antibacterial spectrum and some other things right so now let me write the name beta lactam antibiotic now how the beta lactam antibiotic will be look like and why we call that beta lactam right now if we see the structure of the beta lactam antibiotic, so this beta lactam antibiotic are actually contain a beta lactam ring. Due to this ring, we call that beta lactam antibiotic. How this beta lactam antibiotic? Now the drugs which are used in beta lactam antibiotic, these are penicillin, cephalosporins, carbapenems and monobactam. These beta lactam antibiotic have beta lactam ring. Due to this beta lactam ring, we call that beta lactam antibiotic. So how it will be look like? So let me draw the structure. So this is the structure of the penicillin. So let me write the name. Penicillin. Now, how the carbapenem will be look like? So now let me draw the structure. Now this is the structure of carbaphenim. Carbaphenim. And now how the monobactam will be look like? Monobactam will be look like in this form. So now this is the structure of monobactam. Monobactam. No, no, how the cephalosporin will be look like. So let me draw the structure. So now this is the structure of a cephalosporin. Ceph so this is the structure of these are the structure of beta lactam antibiotic now why we call it all these beta lactam antibiotic because if we see the, the square so these squares are common in all these beta lactam so see this square now due to this square actually we call this square what we call all these squares beta lactam ring beta lactam ring so we call that beta lactam ring now due to this beta lactam ring we call that beta lactam antibiotic we call all these beta lactam antibiotic fine now this square this beta lactam ring have some important features this area is called six amino penicillinic site now if we change this six six amino penicillinic acid site so it will increase the antibacterial spectrum fine and this area now the bacteria will produce some enzyme against this beta lactam antibiotic and what actually these uh, enzyme do they will cleave that area so once this area are cleaved so the antibiotic will start degrading and the antibiotic will not perform their activity or their function 
Fine. We'll be talking later their uh, mood of action. So the antibiotic will not perform their mood of action. So why? Because that area will be cleaved by this enzyme. So this is the actual structure and this is the basic structure of these all antibiotic. So all antibiotic will carry these, uh, these beta lactam ring by which we call it beta lactam antibiotic. So now what are the mood of action of these beta lactam antibiotics? All these beta lactam antibiotics have the same mechanism of action. All these beta lactam antibiotics will interfere with the cell wall synthesis. Fine. If we see the mechanism of action of these antibiotics, so they will interfere with the cell wall. So let me write here. Interfere with the cell wall synthesis. Cell wall Synthesis, or we can say developing bacteria, developing bacteria. So it will be affected when the bacteria are developing, fine, or when the bacteria are synthesizing their cell wall, when the bacteria are synthesizing the peptidoglycan layer. Once the bacteria cell wall are synthesized or once the bacteria are matured, then this beta lactam antibiotic will not work. So keep it in your mind. This beta lactam antibiotic will be work when the bacteria are dividing, when the bacteria are growing, and when the bacteria are synthesizing their cell wall, then this antibiotic will be work. Otherwise, this antibiotic will not perform their activity. Right? So this is the first thing. No, before going to explain this uh, mechanism of action of these beta lactam antibiotic, first you need to understand how the bacteria cell wall are synthesized. Once you get idea about the bacteria cell wall synthesis, so then the mechanism of action of these antibiotic will be very easily. So how the bacteria actually synthesize their cell wall? So now let me explain it a little bit. Fine. So if if uh, if I draw the structure of the bacteria, so how? Let's suppose this layer. Let's suppose this green layer represents the cell membrane, fine. And uh, let's suppose this blue one, this blue one represents the peptidoglycan layer or we can say cell wall, fine. So here I draw the gram-positive bacteria. <clears throat> and you better know that in gram-positive bacteria, they have just cell wall and cell membrane. Now this outer layer is actually cell wall, fine. This outer layer, what? This outer layer is actually cell wall. And one important thing, thing that I want to tell you, between the cell membrane and cell wall, there is a space we call it periplasm. In gram-positive, we call it periplasm. So let me write it. This space is periplasm. Periplasm. Fine. But in gram-negative, here I draw the gram-positive structure. But in case of gram-negative, there is always this, uh, the space are present between the uh, cell membrane and the peptidoglycan layer. We call that periplasmic space. Fine. Now this is this space is periplasm, and this blue one circle outside circle we call that cell wall or cell wall or peptidoglycan. Peptidoglycan. So this is the peptidoglycan and this green one is called cell membrane, cell membrane. So this is a little bit about the bacteria and if we see the gram, gram negative bacteria, uh, all these structures are present in the gram negative bacteria but there is another layer around this gram-negative bacteria and we call that outer membrane, fine. So this outer membrane have some main features we'll be talking later. So this is a little bit about the bacteria and their cell wall structure and a little bit structure to bacteria. Now what are the mechanism of action of this beta lactam antibiotic? First of all, let me explain that how the bacteria actually synthesize this cell wall. So now let me draw. So let's suppose this area as I draw here, this area, let's suppose, this is the cell membrane, means this green one, this is the cell membrane, let's suppose, fine. And uh, this blue one is the cell wall, or you better know the cell wall is actually made up of peptidoglycan. 
You know, peptidoglycan is actually the combination of name neg. What is name neg? Name means N acetyl muramic acid and neg means N acetyl glucosamine. Fine. Now, this name neg is just like a bricks. If let's suppose uh, the home, let's suppose the home is made up of uh, walls, means the bricks. Fine. And now these bricks are, and now these bricks are the building blocks of the cell wall. Fine. In this case, the peptidoglycan is actually the cell wall and the bricks are what? Name neg. So how? Now let me draw the structure. This name neg will be look like in this form. This is let's suppose name. And this is neg. Fine. So this is let's suppose the bricks or we can also say the bricks of the home and whenever the home cell walls, uh, whenever the home walls are synthesized so it need a bricks so when bricks are combined together with each other so it make a wall just like in bacteria when name neck are combined together so they will make a building blocks and these building blocks are actually what peptidoglycan and actually we call that cell wall right so now how first of all how this cell wall are synthesized this name neck are linked to each other and then there will be uh, another thing so there will be addition of amino acid so five amino acid are added with this name not neg okay so five amino acid one two three four five yes five the last two one are called alanine the last two amino acid are called alanine fine so now there is another important thing that i want to tell you there will always, always, in ca any kind of bacteria, there will always the peptidoglycan, the previous peptidoglycan are present. So if these are the name neg of the previous bacteria, uh, means this, if this is the previous name neg complex are added with each other, fine, but it will be in a low amount, fine. These name neg will be present always. But once these name neg are not present, then new name neg will be not synthesized. Keep it in your mind. New name neg will be not synthesized when the previous name neg will be not present. So the previous name neg will be always present. Okay. So once this name neg complex are formed, when once these uh, uh, five amino acid will also attach. So what happen? They will pass this cell membrane and then they will attach to this previous one. So now let me draw. So now let me draw this blue one. So these are the new. These are the new name neg, fine. And these are the these are the amino acid. So these are the amino acid which are attached to this name. Soon after that, there is another name neg complex will be added here. But with this name neg, with this name neg, there will be name neg attached. But this name neg will attach. Now let me draw that how. This new name neg will be attached to this this one name. How? They have also the five amino acid. So what happened? Once these one name neg are attached, so this new peptidoglycan, this new peptidoglycan means this new name neg complex will be added to the name area not with neg with this name let's suppose this is the name fine so this name neg complex once formed so they will attach to this name area not with neg okay and what happened this name neg complex actually not linked with each other and the linkage will be occur means the bond formation they have no bond formation occur so the bond formation and the linkage will be occur by an enzyme and we usually call that enzyme penicillin binding protein or we call that d ala carboxylase or d ala carboxypeptidase and transpeptidase this is the name of enzyme and how this enzyme will be look like so let me draw the structure of this enzyme this enzyme will be look like in this form so this is the structure of the penicillin binding protein or we also call that uh, transpeptidase transpep Tidase, or we call that 
डीएल कॉर्बक्सी पेप्टाइडेज डी एल कॉर्बक्सी पेप्टाइडेज सो दिस इज द पेंसिलिन बाइंडिंग प्रोटीन वट एक्चुअली दिस पेंसिलिन बाइंडिंग प्रोटीन डू once the name this this uh, previous name neck attached to this one and then after that the new name neck will attach to this one but the bond will be not linking with each other and the bond linkage will be must once the bond linkage with this i mean with this name neck will occur so they will make a strong cell wall once the bond are not formed with this two name neck with this name neck complex with it, uh, with each other so the cell wall in this case will be very weak fine so the so, so the bond or the linkage will be occur and the bond formation will be strong so what actually happen this penicillin binding protein will come here and they will first do they will come here and first of all what they do they do the transpeptidase activity what happen in transpeptidase activity in transpeptidase activity these last two uh, these one amino acids last one amino acid will be cleaved so this last amino acid will be cleaved away so once this last two amino acid will be cleaved away by this transpeptidase activity then the terminal these one are the terminal then the terminal will be produced or the terminal end will be produced what happen after that this enzyme do another activity we call it d ala carboxypeptidase what uh, what occur in this case in this case uh, a cross linkage will be occur between them this terminal end will be linked with each other and then a strong bond formation will be occur between this name neck and this one name neck by which a strong bond will be formed and the cell wall will be strong fine so this strong bond formation will be occur by this d ala carboxypeptidase fine so let me draw here so it will be look like in this form after that another name neck complex will be added above and then another name neck will be added under then above and then under and then the strong combination or the strong binding or the strong bond will be occur between them the strong bond will be occur between name name okay not with name neck this name this name will be strongly binded with each other the bonding formation will be not occur in case of neck so keep it in your mind so in this case again bonding will be occur again bonding will be occur so let's suppose these are the bonding this red one represent that bonding are occurring and due to this bonding the cell wall is no strong and the bacteria will finally synthesize their cell wall and finally bacteria will be mature so that's how the bacteria can synthesize their cell wall now what are the mechanism of action of this beta lactam antibiotic if i draw this beta lactam antibiotic in a rough form so how it will be look like so it will be look like in this form so this is actual uh, this is a rough form bacteria this is a rough form beta lactam antibiotic what actually happen this beta lactam antibiotic will be bind here so if i draw the structure here so this is the beta lactam antibiotic let's suppose and they will bind here due to electrostatic force so due to let's suppose this one represents the positive and this one represents the negative charge and due to this charges uh, due to this electrostatic forces these two means this enzyme and this beta lactam antibiotic will be strongly bound with each other once the enzyme will bind to this beta lactam antibiotic so then the activity of transpeptidase and dialo carboxypeptidase will be halted or stopped after that this whenever they are they are actually trying their best to do the activity but they are not because they fail why because due to this presence of antibiotic to this active site of the enzyme they are going and they fail they fail to cleave and they fail to cross linkage between this uh, name name and so once they uh, once these 
enzyme activity or not occur although this name neg will be present here and again new one and then new one and then all the name ne name neg are present but what happened the linkage or not occur the bond formation or not occur here the bond formation let's suppose or not occur so when the bond formation or not occur when these two amino acid are not cleaved with each other so after that a very weak cell wall will be formed so this is a uh, let's suppose let's suppose these uh, although the bond uh, although the amino acid are present but here the bond are not formed between them when the bond are not formed so this is the weak cell wall weak cell wall and what happened due to this weak cell wall in the cell osmotic pressure will be increased and this osmotic pressure will put pressure on the cell wall and there will be a high pressure on the cell wall and although the cell wall is very weak so this cell wall will not tolerate the pressure and what happened the cell will swell and burst and the content which are present inside the cell will release out or me or we can say autolysins will be occur autolysin means that osmotic pressure will be increased and the cell will burst so we also call that this all these antibiotic are actually beta like the uh, sorry not uh, bactericidal bacterio sidal what does it mean it means that they can kill the bacteria bactericidal means that they have the ability to kill the bacteria these all penicillin these all beta lactam antibiotic will kill what will kill the bacteria so finally the bacteria will killed the bacteria will burst so these are the mechanism of action of this beta lactam antibiotic and then the cell wall will be not synthesized so this cell wall will be not synthesized now one another thing i want to tell you that this peptidoglycan layer in case of gram positive this peptidoglycan layer will be thick means a high amount of there there uh, uh, the peptidoglycan in uh, in case of gram gram positive will be in a high amount but in case of gram negative the peptidoglycan will be low amount if i draw the structure here in gram negative so so let's suppose this is the cell membrane this is the cell wall or we can say this is the peptidoglycan layer after that another cell membrane will be present here so let me draw it with the red one fine so this red one is actually outer membrane this blue is uh, peptidoglycan this green one is inner membrane and this this space means these are the space these space are actually periplasmic space peri plasmic space fine so this is the gram negative bacteria fine so in case of gram negative this peptidoglycan layer will be thin but in case of gram positive bacteria this peptidoglycan layer will be thick why because in this case no outer membrane will be present so that's why they will produce the peptidoglycan in a high amount and they will be produce peptidoglycan in a low amount fine so this so that's all about the beta lactam antibiotic fine so inshallah in the next video we will be talk the resistance which are activated against these beta lactam antibiotic the side effect of the these drugs antibacterial spectrum of these drugs in a detail fine so stay tuned and continue to watch thank you so much